Welcome to today's little video on point of sale. Um, today I'm going to touch on how to run your point of sale system like so. Uh, how your point of sale system is tied into everything. Uh, but before we do that, if you haven't already watched the main video on the ERP software suite and how it's fully integrated and tied into everything, please stop this video at this stage and go and look at that main video where it talks about your budgeting, your CRM, all those sorts of things, how they're all tied together with the suite. So stop this video, go and watch that main one if you haven't already. All right, back to your point of sale. Point of sale really is as simple as uh, you pick a button, I've got an option to pick a salesperson at the same time, which I can turn off. I hit cash, cash drawer pops open, receipt printer does its thing, and away you go. It really is as simple as that. Now, that transaction has immediately, immediately updated everything. So I can see it back in my invoice list here. Uh, it's immediately adjusted my stock, my accounts, uh, my banking is all done immediately. It's ready to go. Now, your point of sale is multi-site capable, multiple locations, multiple warehouses, all those sorts of things. I can look at my transactions for my sites. If I zoom into my product list here, I can look at all my stock holdings, what's available, uh, what's on order, what's in stock, what's coming in. I can do that in a number of ways, or I can look at each individual store on its own and see what it has in stock. If I drill down, I can look at multiple quantities per store as well and see what's available and been allocated. So again, this is all tied in to your point of sale. So I'll come back into here. So in here, you can customize these screens. You can make them look virtually any way you like. You simply jump up the top here, customize, choose new buttons. Look, I might want to sell a different type of product or a keyboard or a whatever you want to do. You can simply choose. Let's drop in a keyboard here. So uh, we're going to call this a black keyboard. Helps if I can spell. Like so. I'm going to adjust that so the text, and I'm looking at this button here, so that the text sits. I'll give it a little shortcut key. I'll use black, and I'm going to change my color. So let's make it pink. Beautiful, but you get the concept. And there we have it one black keyboard, values. Gave me 30 quid, hit cash, transaction done. As literally as simple as that. As well as within these screens, you can create multiple keypads. So if I come back in here, under my keypads, I can look at up to 500 different keypads. This is fantastic for having the ability to, if I want to create shortcut keys. So I've got a games keypad here. I can go into my games, select the option, drops in a value, I'll drop in a keyboard, a monitor, my pictures pop up. I can then pay that. I've got a value there of 200. He wants to pay 100 by credit card, he wants to pay 50 by FPOS, and balance in cash. Again, cash draw pops open, receipt printer does its thing. Absolutely fantastic. The multiple keypads is fantastic for doing shortcuts. Uh, quick sale options, all those sorts of things. You can um, group your products on those keypads and design them, easy to use, great to get to. Again, the moment I do anything, everything else knows about it. Um, I can zoom back into whatever that transaction was. Like so, nice and simple stuff. Again, if I jump back into pause, I can customize my options in here to show all sorts of different things. One of them that we use a lot is when you look in your tools, you can create customer displays. So you can have a second screen facing the customer. Uh, this will pop up with promotional values if the tool's not used for 30 seconds or so. But also when you make a sale, they will see the, the screen and transactions as well. So it's great for confirming what's going on with those. Now, as part of all that, you've got full access levels right throughout the whole system where everything from no access through to create and read, or you can design it so that when they turn it on, all they see is the point of sale screen. That's all they can get into. Fantastic as well for 
tying it in with your CRM module here with your loyalty programs where you can define loyalty programs for your point of sale or even down to if you come into preferences here on pause you can turn on a number of options some of them might be to track your postcodes or where did the client or customer come from in the first place so now when I end my point of sale if I sell my monitor pick the thing I hit cash it'll ask me what was my postcode so in here I can put whatever the postcode was and they heard about us from the radio this will then carry through to my loyalties and my uh, tracking for my CRM all those sort of things it's all beautifully tied together with your point of sale so there you go there's a very very brief overview of the ERP software suite and the point of sale it's by no means designed this video to show you in detail what would suit your business please give the guys and girls a call down at ERP they'd be more than happy to come on site and give you a much more detailed presentation on how to make point of sale your CRM and marketing all tied together in one suite thanks for watching